Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. I'm trying something new as usual. Now I don't have any lights on in the studio as far as like my key lights and, and all that stuff. So no SL60, none of the side white light aperture MCs. All I have is the aperture above me in green, the aperture behind me in green, my fairy lights, and I have my computer on obviously the Ninja V is on and I have an iPad on down below me but that's all the light that I'm getting I'm getting it from the actual camera screen the Ninja screen computer screen which I don't know how much light that's actually affecting over here but whatever so I just thought that I would give it an even more eerie Halloween feeling by not putting any of the other lights on and just seeing what it looked like seeing if the camera can pick up you know all of my movements is see what the footage looks like, so on and so forth. Now, another test is I have taken the audio plug out of the camera, so out of the A7C and into the Ninja. And then I turned the analog on on the Ninja and turned the gain up to plus 20. When I shot the video yesterday with the audio going into the A7C, it was a little low. I had to turn it up in post. So I thought, well, you know what? Let's try tonight's video by getting the audio through the Ninja itself. That way I can play with those gains. Now, when I checked the A7C, I already have it up to 27. There's only three more to go to max it out at 30. And I didn't want to do that because I have a feeling that would be a bad thing. But going through the Ninja here, I have all the room in the world to turn it up. So I went to plus 20 and I want to see what that sounds like. So as you're listening to this, let me know what you think. Okay, the other thing is that I have the camera set up probably like right there. So the lens is, is sort of right at my eye level, but I keep looking straight into the Ninja, which sucks. I, I have fallen trapped to that. Guess I'm gonna have to do the Casey Neistat thing and wear sunglasses. Speaking of sunglasses, I actually ordered some. What has been going on with me is that my glasses have been bucking the shit out of me. I have found that my near vision just sucks, getting old sucks, and now my far vision is starting to get a little bit worse simply because of the fact that I'm constantly wearing my glasses. So my all my glasses have progressive lenses in them, including my sunglasses. So I have been weakening my eyes by wearing glasses all the time. To combat that and wearing glasses at all, because I freaking hate wearing glasses, is that I had gotten progressive contact lenses. Theoretically, they should do the same thing, but then I don't have the glasses to fog up. I don't have them sitting on my head, giving me a headache and never quite worked the way I had hoped. If I put both contact lenses in, it seems like neither eyeball is focusing on the same thing at the same time. And I end up like not being able to see and then blinking like 4,000 times throughout the day. And then my eyes are exhausted by the end of the day. And usually I can only do it for a few hours and end up peeling the contacts out and I can't stand it. One of the things that several people have told me over the years is that maybe my vision isn't as bad as I think that it is. The problem is, is that my eyes are dry. So they said that I should be using eye drops. Now I did get uh, some kind of eye drops uh, that were recommended to me from several of the optometrists that I've seen over the years, specifically ones for contact lenses now. So uh, I have been on and off using those. Sometimes in the morning, my eyes are just like so messed up. I have to put eye drops in. So I got a big bottle next to my, next to the bed on the end table and you know, Sometimes it's what I got to do. So I think I just really have dry eyes and, and that doesn't help much. But another thing that I was told by the kid at the place where I got my contact lenses is that he said, you know, you might have a problem with the progressive contact lenses and that, that you won't be able to get the eyes to sync up correctly. So he says, what I do is I only wear one of them. So that way I have one eye that can see close up and then you know, the other eye can see far away and hopefully it'll force this eye to be able to focus far away. I found that to be a brilliant suggestion because that's usually what works. Then what happened was that I started just putting it in my right eye and I could feel that they got, you know, one was working harder than the other so that the next time that I went to go get my eyes tested, indeed, one eye was worse than the other. Or not, I shouldn't say worse, but one eye got a little bit 
it needed more correction than the other. So I was like, okay, note to self, I need to switch that and, and put them in a different eye every day. So today, after this week of just being miserable with, with the glasses and everything, I put a contact in my left eye and it's been pretty good all day. I have been able to read shit close up so I can read my watch, which I can't do if I don't have any corrective lenses in it. That's how bad it is. Like I said, getting old sucks. Um, but I was able to see far away and I haven't had really any transitional issues and all that kind of stuff of, of having to blink 4,000 times to be able to see. Although I do feel like my eyes are dry. The big problem with that is that because I have one corrective lens in that eyeball and none in this one, I can't wear my sunglasses because the sunglasses that I have have the progressive lenses in them. So that means I would be double visioned on this eye, vision corrected, and, and only one on this eye. So I couldn't wear them and that sucked. So today I ordered a pair of sunglasses that are polarized and have no correction on them whatsoever and they'll, they should be here tomorrow. Cross my fingers because, you know, sometimes shit doesn't come when it's supposed to. But I'm hoping that it'll come tomorrow because it's supposed to be a gorgeous sunny day and I have the day off so I'm going to go out and play. I already posted a video today a little bit earlier and I did a really quick shitty video with one of my ZV-1s showing you all the setups that I have. So my birding setup, the Weeble setup, my studio, in-studio setup, and it, it looked terrible and I didn't care because I was just showing you what I should have b-rolled in the first place for the video where I talked about how I changed the studio and I didn't do that. I've been very bad about that and I know Yankee Cowboy gave me shit for it before and he was like, dude, you got to put b-roll in there, man. You kept talking about this stuff and I wanted to see it and I don't know. I just keep forgetting about it. I just wanted to show you everything. So I already posted that tonight and it's Thursday night. Again, I have the day off tomorrow. It's supposed to be gorgeous out. I refuse to do any work tomorrow, so I'm just going to enjoy myself. And I may post this tomorrow night and then shoot something else tomorrow that I can use on Saturday, but we'll see. For now, it's going on eight o'clock, so I'm gonna finish this up, look at the footage and see what it looks like on the computer screen. Um, although it looks great on both the A7C screen and the Ninja. And then I'm going to go downstairs and have cherry pie and tea. All right, that's all I've got for this video. Let me know what you think. How does it sound now that I've got it plugged into the Ninja? Gain up to plus 20 and, you know, with the lighting. I don't know, I think it looks neat. Obviously this isn't gonna happen all the time because, you know, I'm just doing this for Halloween. If you have any comments or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.